Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. It is day 10 of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo and it is the best in show day. We've got some new skins for some of the ships. We've got all the ships that were previously rentable. Rentable, you can go and purchase anything you want on the Star Citizen website. All that sort of jazz. Let's take a look and more. So yeah, it's day 10 of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo and I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Um, it's the best in show day and I believe it's armor and weapons day as well. Um, so we've got the best in show ships. These were ships that won a, the, the most popular fireball ships at the time. And they did a little vote um, and, and to, had a little head-to-head. Uh, -head. Om nom nom, I am a Karak. Um, the Karak won the most popular fireball ship. Although I do think it would have quite a lot of competition with the Mercury Star Run now. Um, if, they, if they ran that vote again. We'll see what happens next year. Um, but uh, anyone that has these ships or... Um, buys them during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo will get those skins for them. So if you buy a Cutlass Black, if you buy a Carrick, uh, an Eclipse, or a Valkyrie, uh, you get those skins. Uh, so we've got ship rentals downstairs, we've got personal weapons armor downstairs. Okay, so have a look at that in a second. Um, I, uh, I sort of like these skins. They are the IAE 2950 colors. So either white and gold or white and yellow, like mustard yellow based on um, your perception. Um, obviously, maybe that makes the eclipse hard to see on the snow backgrounds. But I think it's pretty visible um, otherwise. Uh, the Cutlass Black looks great in it, in my opinion. Um, definitely try out these ships. You can obviously rent them as well. Uh, the Garrick looks right in those colours. But they're, they're, just, they're just skins. And you, you will be able to freely move them on and off your ship. And they're not permanently applied when you put them on. So sort of bear that in mind. Uh, well, at the moment, I, I appear not to be able to rent this. So bear that in mind. Uh, I actually suspect we'll be able to rent them from the kiosks downstairs. If you kind of look around them. Yeah, I like the... Uh, I like the Cutlass Black in that colour scheme. Just thinking about it. It reminds me a little bit of the... Is it the Asimov? In uh, Counter-Strike? That's the series of skins. Yeah, I quite like that. Got the Carrick, the big boy, sort of like exploration, um, sort of top tier ship. However, incredibly good multi-role ship at the moment. Um, it being suitable for a medium-sized crew. I say medium-sized uh, crew, more more small crew still, a handful of, of people running that ship together. It does have a medical bay, uh, along with a huge amount of other facilities, including a load of facilities that don't work properly yet. Such as a scanning area and drones and loads of stuff going on. Um, we've got the Valkyrie as well. Valkyrie, that drop ship. Very, very popular ship. And because it is like top tier drop shippiness at the moment. Um, and it's it looks pretty small, but it's actually pretty huge on the inside. There's a lot going on with it. Lots of little separated rooms and jump seats. And go downstairs, you can see all the little jump seats here. Oh, no. I've opened and closed that door. Got loads of jump seats on both sides. So you can have a load of marines in here. And obviously with the new um, force reactions stuff, you're going to be staggering around, falling over on your ship if, you, if you're not sitting down in the station. And then you've got the Eclipse. It is a torpedo um, fighter bomber. Um, pretty stealthy. Brings the pain. It's got three big torpedoes with it. I didn't really talk about much about the Cutlass Black, but the Cutlass Black is one of my favourite ships in the game, by far. It is multi-role. It is, um, if you're looking to go beyond just a starter ship, I'd recommend typically the Avenger Titan, although I need to um, have a look at all the second tier starters and work out if that's still the best option, but I suspect it will be. Um, and then beyond that, the Cutlass Black. The Cutlass Black is... A really cool multi-role ship allowing you to have a bit of everything in game, uh, as well as have a vehicle in the back and cargo and um, do a bit of multi-crew. So what is downstairs? So we've got a semi-circle of armors. I suspect these are purchasable, not rentable. Yes, they're purchasable. It's a shame they're not rentable. I would have liked to have seen these armors for rent. Um, and I'm not sure if they're supposed to be A-posing, T-posing, but uh, they are. Uh, I wonder if there's any new armors. I suspect there's not. Otherwise, uh, they'd be like in the center of the, the expo hall upstairs. Oh, we've got a load of weapons here as well. Again, 
I suspect they're purchasable, not rentable. Yeah, and that's that's what it appears to be. Um, nothing new though, but a nice little display. What I'd like to see is the ability to rent those weapons. Maybe some new weapons, even if it's just in the hollow suite that they're showing off. Um, and maybe a shooting range here. I want more event at my event. Like, Star Citizen is great for looking and seeing as a tourist. But with these sort of events, they're great for sales. But if they had a bit more interactivity for the players, I think they would be next level. Rather than just something pretty cool to come and visit. Now we've got all the sort of um, snow camo gear here. Surprised the Novikov armor and stuff like that isn't around. And what else do we have? So we've got the Traveler Rental Terminals. So, uh, okay. So... This should have every single ship that's been pre previously rentable for rent here. So, yeah, we got the. We should have everything. We shouldn't have the promo ships. So, you'll have the Saber, but you won't have the Saber Raven, for example. Um, but other than that, it should be pretty much every ship that was flyable. Uh, yeah, you don't have the access to the Scythe, but you do have access to the Glaive and, um, and that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, try out all the ships. You'll get 48 hours rental on them. Um, come here over the next few days. Um, so this will be ending the 2nd of December. Is the last full day of the expo. So make sure you try out the 890 Jump. Make sure you try out the Carrack um, and any other ship that you had your eyes on. Even if you're just going to go, well, actually I will back Star Citizen. Um, and you're a totally new player um, and you want to get a Starship. Check out that Starship. Make sure you're happy with it. You, you can have a look at the Mustang Alpha and the Aurora MR here. You can have a look to see if you want an Avenger Titan instead. Um, or, or something a bit better. Whatever. So make sure you get involved with that expo. Let's have a quick look on the website. Though I don't suspect it'll be very much. So no special little video from Cloud Imperium today. It is the original Carrick trailer. Um, from last year at CitizenCon. Um, so yeah, it's just ships on offer today. Um, are the best in show ships so the Carrick, the Eclipse, the Colors Black the Valkyrie um, with their additional skins um, of the sort of black, white and gold or black, white and mustard and you can also buy the best in show uh, ship pack um, you can upgrade any of your ships to the best in show ships but um, that's sort of it uh, you can also buy any of the previous day ships though so bear that in mind as well so go to the Robert Space Industries um, day and go well I want to buy uh, um, I'm going to buy uh, Amandus or I'm going to buy uh, Perseus uh, or an Apollo Triage um, oh there's still some Polaris's in stock, Warp on Polaris's madness and still some uh, store credit Polaris's oh I think that a lot of people have uh, gone to the Perseus over the Polaris interesting should I grab Polaris as well I don't know, but does that make me mad probably does. Uh, so yeah, have a look at um, the RSI Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, Star Citizen website stuff, and um, if you're looking to purchase a ship, you've got basically until the end of day, um, December 2nd, it sort of ends up at 4pm December 3rd, I suspect, um, to, to grab anything that you want, um, but still a free fly going on, there's still um, rentable ships going on uh, until um, the, the 3rd of December, so try out the game for free. Um, rent all the ships you want, have a quick look at them, mess around with them and uh, if you want to buy something make sure you uh, bought it by then. Although the Perseus um, should be on concept sale a bit longer um, and the Nomad I think is a permanent addition to the game. So um, Please tell me what you think. Are you picking up anything um, for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo? Were you excited by what you saw um, throughout the sort of um, free fly and all that sort of jazz? Are you a new player? Have you been uh, enjoying it? Have you been hating it? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So I just saw this thread appear on Spectrum. I'm um, going over the items that you get with the uh, Best in Show ships. So if you own one of the Best in Show ships, um, then you get a themed shirt with that ship as well. Um, so um, you don't need to buy a Best in Show ship. If you previously owned a ship that has now become Best in Show, then you'll get the skin after the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo and the t-shirt. Um, but you can buy drawing as well to get it. So bear that in mind. There's a Cutlassy one. Uh, there's a, a Valkyrie one. There's an Eclipsey one. Well, they're, they're reasonably cool. And there's a Karaki one. I think everyone will be getting the Karak helmet. 
not a hundred percent sure. They implied that everyone would be getting a carrot helmet. Um, this helmet, it's uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I thought I'd include that for people wanting to see this stuff. Yeah, it's it's been a cool little event. Each month we have a ship giveaway for November. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner again. This highly anticipated multi-role ship is great for small to medium-sized crews that want to do uh, a bit of everything, whether that be cargo running, data running, missions, combat, smuggling, all that sort of jazz. All you've got to do to be in for a chance of winning one is comment on any of my videos made for November, including this one. More details down below. What am I shilling for today, I hear you ask? Do you hate it when people steal all of your money and your house over the internet? I know I do. NordVPN may have been invented by wizards to help protect your personal data from the prying eyes of the dark web, a sinister cabal of technomancers that grow in power the more they know about your browsing habits. The true story of NordVPN's origins are unknown and lost to the ages, and without using facts. No one really knows how it provides more accessibility to otherwise censored websites or a safer security experience for all that use it. All I know is that it does and that when you sign up to it, the power level of my bank account grows and I use it and maybe you should too.